Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'd like to talk about my demographics and why my demographic is one of the most important roles in society. If you're watching this YouTube video, you're part of my demographics. My demographics is young men between the ages of 18 and 34 who don't feel like they have a shot in the world. And I'm here to help you. This is a big responsibility. Okay, so let me explain first of all why you might feel this way. I have no clue. Maybe you were lied to. That's probably why. You were, you were probably lied to. Um, but I'm going to share some truths with you. So, um, bingo, bingo, bongo. Um, the title of this video is You Can't Fail. Here's why. And you might feel like you failed, but if I've learned anything from my years of gaming, it is that just because you have a disadvantage doesn't mean you can't adapt to a new strategy. Unless you're dead, you still have a shot of coming back. Now, I don't care what game you're playing. I don't care if you're playing Minecraft or 2K or Fortnite. As long as you're not dead, as long as time isn't up, you have a shot. Now, there might be circumstances where you don't have enough time to make the proper actions to redeem yourself. But my demographics are men between the ages of 18 and 34, you have enough time. You can change the world. And I'm gonna explain to the, you in this video how to do this. So, if you're watching my YouTube video, you are part of my demographic, and you are the weak link in society. Now, don't feel bad, don't feel bad on purpose. Do not ever feel bad on purpose. Don't allow yourself to feel bad. What you need to be feeling right now is hope. Okay, take whatever bad feeling you have from me saying that you're the weak link in society and turn it into hope. Because if you're the weak link, you have the most capacity to get stronger. You have the most capacity. If you're in the gym, your weakest muscle group is going to grow the fastest. It's going to get stronger the fastest. If you're the slowest, uh, you have the capacity to run fast. Okay, whatever, all right. I got a little ahead of myself. What I was going to talk about was that uh, humans are pack animals, and that is the short answer to why you can't fail in life. Oh man, okay, we're, we're covering a lot in this video. Okay, so humans are pack animals, and they won't allow each other to fail. They will protect each other at almost any cost, other than their own lives and you only need to ask the right person for help and you will be able to get help. Let me, let me take an aside for a section, second. I was homeless and I didn't know who to ask for help, but I knew of a place called the Nonprofit Center so I thought, okay, if, if there's any place that can get me cheap housing, I was like 19 at the time. If there's any place that can get me housing, it's the nonprofit center. So I go into the nonprofit center and I'm like, hey, is there a way that a homeless person can get housing? And they're like, yeah, it's actually like super easy. You just have to come in and ask for help. And there's just tons of homeless people. But the thing about being homeless is it's just a different set of lifestyles. So you, um, you shower at the homeless ministry, you eat at the soup kitchen, you spend your time at the library. Rather than spending your time at a job, 
paying money from your job to eat and showering at the house that you rest at. You live most of your time on the street instead of at your job. You sleep at the homeless shelter and you get money from wherever you can. Usually, I don't know, I, I didn't have much money coming in when I was homeless. Uh, but anyways, I've been through the shitters, so to speak. And, um, yeah, okay, so, let's say you have heard of some of the, um, the woo-woo manifesting law of attraction nonsense. So, obviously I'm a cynic for what I believe in, and, um, I, I believe that, um, everyone needs to get their subconscious reorganized. So here's how I'm gonna do this. You are probably feeling dejected in life. You are thinking things to yourself, maybe subconsciously, maybe consciously, hopefully not consciously, but they are certainly emotionally charged and they are having an impact on your life. Because Gandhi said, and Gandhi, I mean, like, come on, he's a saint. He's Gandhi. Okay, so Gandhi said, your thoughts create your beliefs, which create your actions, which create your habits, which create your destiny. Or something along those lines. Your thoughts create things, which create things, which create things. We act on our thoughts, basically. Maybe subconsciously, but that's the foundation of what I need to get at. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, ooh. So, in order to change your circumstances, you need to change your attitude. But in order to change your attitude, you first need to change the way you are talking to yourself. Self-talk is probably the most important thing I can think of right now in the world. Self-talk is that important. If you are saying things to yourself like, I'm nothing, I've lost, it's over, let me give you this little exercise that you can do right now and it might just take things in your subconscious and work them around a little bit. Tell yourself nothing is lost. So instead of saying, I'm nothing, I've lost, tell yourself nothing is lost because I'm nothing and I've lost. So nothing is lost. Because we can always change around our strategies as long as there's time on the clock and we have enough time on the board to accomplish whatever goal it is that we so desire. Now, I don't care if you're 34 and you want to go to the moon. Talk to Elon Musk. He might be able to get you second best and get you to Mars. But you have to be the one to talk to Elon Musk because he's not going to come down to Jerryville, New Jersey and say, hey buddy, uh, I know I just knocked on your door, but I'm looking for people to go to Mars. What you need to do in that situation is you need to go to college for probably biology, and in that time that you're going to college to get a doctorate in biology, you need to be talking to as many people close to Elon Musk, or better yet, Elon Musk himself, and accomplish the goal of going to space. Because if your dream is out of this world, you need to be able to do things. Let's take a step back, let's take a step back. We're talking too loud to the people who are feeling bad. So, um, 
maybe you just want to feel better. Maybe you just want to, um, maybe you just want to retire, which I think, I, I had the dream of retiring for a while and I quasi accomplished this goal. See, the thing is, your, your subconscious will give you whatever it is you're asking for at your word. The only thing is, you don't get to necessarily choose how you get it unless you act upon it. So, you need to be able to make a plan for what you want. That's kind of the basis of it. Um, I really hope that I got it through to you guys that I care about you and I want this subscriber base of mine to not just be a vapid number that goes up and down. I want it to be people that are helping themselves with my content. Because I'm someone who has made content. I've gotten to that point where I am content. So I can make content and give it to you guys. But if I was not content and I was making YouTube videos, it wouldn't be content. It would just be me talking at a camera. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already liked so other people can see the video because that's what liking the video does is it spreads the video to other people in my demographics. Um, subscribe if you're in my demographics, which is people who need to hear this message because I'm making more videos like this. And comment, thank you Liam, L-I-A-M, for making this video and telling me that nothing is lost because I still have time to get that victory royale. All right, um, yeah, it's a good thing thinking is easy, and I think this is the last thing I need to cover, is thinking is really, really easy. So, if we can't get ourselves to direct our thoughts, the only thing we can do is sit still and watch our thoughts. And if you can't sit still, set a timer. Like I, I I don't I don't mean to like gripe at you guys, but like I don't I don't necessarily know what it's like to have racing thoughts, but the fix to racing thoughts, what I've been told, is to watch your thoughts. Mindfulness slows them down as much as you can. Just, just watch them and think, okay, I'm thinking about this. This is in going into my subconscious and my subconscious is creating my reality as we've discussed. Then once your thoughts have slowed down enough that you can fully comprehend them and what you're thinking, you can start to direct your thoughts. And this is a very simple technique. It's called consciously thinking to yourself. You can do all sorts of things with conscious thinking to yourself, also known as prayer. You can make plans. You can, uh, you can theorize. You can, or I guess hypothesize would be a better way to put it. Um, what else can you do with conscious thinking? You can um, give self-love. You can do all sorts of things with conscious thinking. Just try it out. And um, after we've mastered directed thinking with a purpose, we can move on to subjugating the thoughts. And subjugating the thoughts is no thoughts whatsoever. And it's a very, very easy thing to... Uh, get down and it's a very easy thing to live with. Once you have no thoughts in brain, no thoughts in brain, then you just uh, think about what it is that you want out of life. And I want to make great YouTube videos. So uh, I didn't start by saying I, I want a billion subscribers. I started by saying I want to make good YouTube videos and I was like okay how do I want to make good YouTube videos and I found a format that I like and I
up with it. And let's see, anything else I can talk about? I think that about covers it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still watching this, we've already covered the meat of it. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, all that good jazz. Thanks.